Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, my name is Fernando Herrera. I'm the founder and CEO of Tirebase, and today we're in El Paso, Texas at Tire Mart, where they just onboarded using Tirebase. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you, as a technician, what you have to do to do an inspection, a digital inspection. So as we do this, uh, I'm gonna be recording my screen on my phone so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And then you're also gonna be, uh, we're gonna be performing an actual inspection uh, with a vehicle just shortly. A uh, big shout out to Tirebase, so thank you so much Tirebase for sponsoring this video. If you're looking into using Tirebase, uh, the best shop, uh, shop management system out there, uh, there's gonna be a link below with the promotion, so feel free to check it out, or you can always reach out to me via Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever. But anyways, uh, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and without further ado, let's go ahead and start. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do um, in order for us to do an inspection, I'm gonna pretend I'm a salesperson and pretty much what the salesperson or the service advisor has to do is, you know, we created a work order. And once a work order is created, our technician is gonna be able to then start an inspection. So again, typically the process starts, customer walks in, they're looking for a flat repair, like we're gonna do a test right now, they're coming for a patch. And so once the car's coming in for the patch, the technician is gonna do a full you know, inspection, which that's what we're gonna do. So I just wanna kinda let you know uh, that's an important step before we continue with the inspection. So I'll do that right now. Okay guys, so, uh, and I'm sorry if you guys hear some background, we're actually at a store, so that's why they're kinda busy. But what we're doing here is we got uh, David Martinez, uh, he has a Tesla Model 3, but today he's actually gonna be working uh, with a different car. So we're gonna change this to a uh, Texas uh, license plate. And the license plate is H9. So this is important to do because that way we pull up the correct information from the right car. And so now that we've added this Honda Ridgeline, we're gonna go ahead and select that. And we're gonna go ahead and do, um, you know, pretty much service repair. And we're gonna save this as a work order. And now we're gonna, pretty much, we're gonna let our technician know that the car's ready for pickup uh, to pull into the bay and start the inspection. All right guys, so as you will see in my phone right here, I'm gonna be sharing everything I'm doing on the phone. I'm the technician, we just pulled this car in. Now again, this is a, a demo, uh, so this car has already been, uh, we already started working on this car. But as a technician, I will see that I'm looking for the Honda Ridgeline from David. I'm gonna go ahead and click begin inspection once I have my car lifted perhaps. So as you can see here, uh, this is, uh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and inspect the tires. So the first thing we're gonna do, you know, is probably take a picture of the tires. I can actually take a photo and I'm gonna take a picture. So I'm gonna be able to check all four tires. I'm checking that all four tires are actually looking pretty good. And so tires are not needed at this point, right? So we're gonna put condition is good. We're gonna go into battery. Again, battery, we're gonna check it. Let's assume that looks good, right? Uh, brakes, in this case, we're actually doing brakes. So we're gonna go ahead and maybe take a picture uh, of the brakes themselves. So we're gonna put need replacement. And we're gonna put immediate action. And we're gonna go ahead and take a picture. Again, if you're doing this initial inspection, you're most likely gonna send this once the brakes are still on the car, but again, just a demo. The exterior, again, if uh, these are questions that you can edit, uh, or again, you can add more custom questions, but it, you don't have to do an inspection on the exterior. The steering and suspension, again, apparently this one is also requires immediate attention. And we're gonna go ahead and take a picture of the actual shocks, right? Uh, safety lights, again, you could do an inspection on safety lights, wiper blades, so we're gonna put that all these stuff is good, engine is good. Fluid levels, again, uh, we're gonna put good, but that we refill them. And then belts, they all look good, hoses, everything good, right? So now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this. And so as I save this, now let's go back into the shop. The technician is done, so the inspection, as you guys saw, Inspection is done, it's completed, uh, and it was fairly simple. Again, you can do custom questions, uh, custom things that you guys do, um, you know, wheel repair, all those types of things you can add into the questions themselves. Uh, but now that we fin finished the inspection, 
we're gonna go and see what the salesperson has to do now. All right, guys, so now that the technician has finished the inspection, uh, what the salesperson is gonna be doing, you know, as they're scrolling through their regular work orders and invoices, they're gonna see there's a, an attention mark um, next to the order number or work order number. This is made with the intention to notify the sales rep that the inspection has been completed and then the person itself is going to be able to now see uh, what needs to be replaced, right? So in this case we can see that brakes and steering you know, uh, need to be replaced. And so we get the images, we have everything in one place, we can then uh, quote, so again I can go ahead and add a generic part. And I'm gonna say, okay, for breaks, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add you know, $20. Okay, $20. Bucks. And then for breaks and uh, steering suspension, again, probably another part. Now again, we do have um, you know, an integration with parts tech. So you could always go here and actually use your AutoZone, Riley's, or whatever parts a supplier you use and as you can see you know the customer's vehicle is automatically transferred over to parts tech we can then put here um, suspension for example or shocks and struts and now we can immediately start you know getting the necessary parts to complete the job right so in my case i'm probably gonna give the customer some options i'm gonna go ahead and add this one to cart and i'm also gonna need some brakes Now, once we add all those again, we can go ahead and send the, the, let's see here, and I'll show you guys how it looks and what the customer looks. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and send via text message or email. And then I'm, I'm sharing my screen again. Hello. So this is what the customer is seeing. They click on the link. First, they got a text message that says greeting from Tire Race. In this case, it would be your shop. Please do see this link to review, right? So they're gonna see your shop information. They're gonna see, you know, pretty much, hey, uh, we did an inspection. I, items are good. Zero items need attention. Two items need immediate attention. So we're gonna click on view services. Now we can see the brakes, steering, and suspension. I can go ahead and see, you know, as a customer, the images. And I can go ahead and go, you know, for brakes, it's going to be 132. I can go ahead and say add. And for, let's say, steering suspension, I'm going to say not today. View review. I want to go ahead and finalize this. And then now I've done the finalized part, right? And so now, again, the salesperson or the customer and everyone, uh, even the technicians, are notified, you know, what items are actually added. In this case, you know, we added the brakes. Uh, the shocks and suspension uh, was excluded. But uh, you know, that's how pretty much an inspection is performed. That's how the customer you know, comes in uh, for a specific service, an inspection is performed. We identify a specific part that needs replacement. We notify the client. They get a notification, they approve it or decline it. And then after that, you know, pretty much we can continue um, pretty much in, in, in working with other cars, right? So hopefully that was a very easy explanation of how the inspections module works. Um, like I said before, if you do have some questions, feel free to reach out to me via my email or Instagram or comment on the video below. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.